part that I'm having trouble with here, Yes. and I do want to play it, but it's all of this. It's this where it's way up here. That is the that is the part that is slowing me down. Well, actually, it kind of starts here. Not so bad here. It starts here, then it goes to there, and it's because we're it's we're way up here, but it's for some reason. It's that, and it's also because the harmonic rhythm of the piece is very active there. The chords change all the time. Ah. Here's another chord. 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 Finally, you stay on the same chord. 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 And that's conspicuously faster as a harmonic rhythm. Is that anything that, explain it. Yeah. that does have an effect. The other thing you can do is play it. I don't know how easy this is for you to read everything down an octave in both hands. And that just automatically, for the purposes of practicing, yeah, like that. And that'll just get rid of the difficulty of it being too high in the bass. That's right. That, that way, or one octave higher. sounds normal. You can take it as an article of faith. It can sound like that. So you're already hearing the chords as being richer and lower. Right hand to complete the chord. Oh. That's I mean, like you've got most one? of the chord. Yeah, just the note on. Right. And then. Now you've got the whole chord. And if you add that D, yes, add the D. Maybe this is the way to do it. There you go. Now it now it sounds like something that makes sense. <laughs> And the notes that don't make sense, you can bring out as these inharmonic tones of embellishment. Okay, that would help if I do it by the chords. 